for at least the last 15 years, I've really been trying to hammer home the concept of whitetail or deer lines of movement. I created that concept quite a few years ago and been writing about it for a long time. And really, it's a concept where you're hunting deer and you're creating movement for deer or you're finding that movement on uh, public land like I wrote about in my first uh, Habitat book. But you're looking for that movement, creating that movement, and it's movement that goes between bedding and feeding. And it seems simple, but the more you can define that movement, the more you can find that movement and, and create it. You can add the enhancements of mock scrapes, water holes, minerals were illegal, and even create travel corridors, cuttings, timber cuttings. So you're trying to define that line of movement that's predictable and dependable every single day. And for that, you can hunt another concept that I like to refer to as predatory access or perpendicular access. And what you're doing is the more that line is defined, the more you can access that line on a straight line right to that line of movement and climb into a tree stand. So really, your closest point of intersection with that line is your tree stand. Now, contrary to that, you might, you could walk in at an angle to that movement or alongside that movement. Then you're exposing yourself to that movement for a great distance. Here, the shortest distance possible is you're accessing on that perpendicular line. You have that clean access where you can walk to that point, climb into a stand, and then look down and see where you're hunting. This is a great example of that. We have straight line of movement. We're even hunting a little bit of an outside bow, which gives us even more wind advantage. But we're hunting deer that are coming out of this bedding draw over here and around the point and up top. They're funneling around this point on the bench system up in the woods behind me. We're hunting out of the big oak, which you've seen on video a lot of times if you watch our videos. And then we're watching deer as they go across the bench and they're hitting the mock scrape we have there, the water hole, all the rubs that are up there, some signpost rubs, and they're just plain passing through. It's a great spot to hunt in the evening or morning because we can get in and out pretty predictably without spooking deer. They're going to food sources down here 50 yards or over there 200 yards, 300 yards, and then off to the ag fields after dark. So we're just hunting a side of that movement. Because we're hunting that straight line of movement, then we can hunt with our wind blowing just about 180 degrees, 150 degrees, 120 degrees, and make sure that it's not getting into that line of movement. Now, because we're hunting a little bit of an outside of a bow, we can hunt with a little bit more wind direction and wind width so that we can hunt that stand right there and let it blow down in a pretty big area here, pretty wide area, and not spook deer. The opposite of that would be is if we had deer movement coming from here, going to here, and then we're hunting this little inside angle, our wind has to be very precise to blow out to not spook deer right in this direction. So think about that. It's called perpendicular access. You're hunting a whitetail line or a deer line of movement that you've created or identified on public land. Great way to access a stand and non-invasively. You're creating the stand location as your closest point of intersection to that trail. You're not exposing yourself to the deer that are coming in and out. You can see we're coming up this weedy side, this weedy hillside right here. We're screened in by a lot of brush. We climb up an oak tree that's probably 30 inches plus in diameter, huge oak tree. We can climb all the way up that, have a deer that's 40 yards away up in that line of movement, and we can get into that stand without spooking them. Try hunting a perpendicular movement to your tree stand this year, hunting those whitetail lines of movement, and not only can you get in and out of your stands a lot more safely, but you can have a great pattern of winds that you can hunt the stand, multiple patterns of winds that you can hunt the stand and at the same time, your success rate should skyrocket because you're hunting a highly defined movement and you're just getting a glimpse as they pass by. Try it this fall and I think you'll experience a high level of success and you'll be very happy you tried.